Hey, so I just came back from our baby's first international trip. We went to Mexico. Um, we came back two days ago, so everything's fresh in my brain. I really intended to take this video in Mexico, but life happens and everything doesn't happen as you plan. Um, so I want to just go over some things that I've learned about traveling with baby. This was his fourth trip on a flight. So we've done all together eight flights. So this is fourth, you know, plane travel, but he's done eight flights, obviously, you know, to and from. Okay, so things that you have to be aware about and um, just like basically check off your list. And I'll link a bunch of information below along with an extensive travel list that my cousin provided and a more abbreviated one that I really actually use. So traveling with a baby or it's hot. Number one, how to get to the airport. So the first time we traveled, we parked at the airport because we wanted to have the base and the car seat with us. So it ended up being coming like over a hundred dollars and just like paying for parking. And I just didn't really think it was worth it. So the next time we traveled to the airport, what we did was we called um, Uber or Lyft and then we put the base of the infant car seat into the car and then we put the car seat into that. And then we had a travel bag that I had purchased and I'll, I'll show a picture of that or a link. And basically like the car seat goes into the travel bag so you could attach your base and then put everything into that and you're allowed to check that for free. So it was my husband and I traveling. So we were able to check that for free and a, and a stroller. So we were able to get two things in. Um, so the baby stroller and the baby car seat um, are the things that you get in and the way that you attach the base, you just like click it on like how you would normally do when it's in the car and that goes in for free. Um, you don't pay for baby. I know some airlines, I think you pay the taxes. I've never, we've never actually had to pay the taxes. Your flight entertainment, which is so crucial, right? Cause you have a baby in that plane for like two to three hours and that's not including um, at the airport, getting out of the plane, traveling there. So you need toys, you need, um, if you allow them to watch TV, you wanna download those shows, especially if you're going international. And this is what I wasn't thinking about. So I, we allow him to watch uh, Sesame Street and Daniel Tiger. And I forgot to download these because I wasn't really thinking like, oh, he'll be able to watch them over there. And I'm like, because we have Prime, but you're not allowed to watch them there if you don't have them downloaded already because of like that country, they don't have that, um, that episode available. So download things before you go to wherever you're going, especially if you're international. Have your books for them. And that's like one of the best things to have, right? It's like flat, it's heavy though. So if you have um, traveling with baby, it's usually like these heavy books. So have those food and snacks. And you have to think about both ways because sometimes you might not have like time or access to buying baby snacks when you come back and you might not consider there being a flight delay but this happened not in um in our previous previous trip where we were delayed an extra 45 minutes in the plane so we weren't able to even buy anything and by the, like the last you know like half hour 45 minutes of getting back home i ran out of snacks so you want to just make sure you have enough snacks so the way that we pack this, we have two book bags. My husband and has a book bag. I have a book bag. And then we do one carry-on. For And what we do is we just bring pretty much everything for baby on the plane with us. And that's for the flight and that's for the actual trip. And the reason why we do this is because at the end of the day, like it's really easy to buy like adult clothing um, wherever you go. So like if our bags get misplaced or don't get um, sent to like the destination we could easily like buy something pick something up for us we bring all of that stuff on the plane so my husband has a book bag and my husband's book bag is kind of like the more heavy thing so like the toys the books and pretty much anything that can not be edible and then i'll have all the edible things in my bag and that will include food snacks medicine um and then in his bag, we'll also have the baby diapers, the wipes, um, and then the, there could be like the antibacterial wipes, the boogie wipes, 
the pacifier wipes, like whatever wipes you use, like bring those all. And then medicine. So you want to have medicine just in case. They don't usually give you a big issue if it's like more than three ounces, especially when it comes to baby. So bring the medicine um, and you want to have an extra set of clothing for them. So along with having extra diapers, so like whatever your flight is and just do the math of like how many diapers you would need on a normal day for that baby and just maybe pack one or two extra just in case like there's a flight delay or anything, right? Um, what we normally do is pack like four to five diapers, which is like more than enough for our flights. And then we have an extra set of clothes. So whatever they're wearing that day, I have an extra set of clothes, exact same thing. So I normally do a onesie. Um, I would do like when we went to Mexico, I had him in a heavy onesie leaving here. And then when we were in the plane, he got dirty. So then we travel, so I brought a lighter onesie. So not as a fit, like a more like a springtime onesie. And then he, he changed into that. And I did the opposite when we came back. Um, some must haves that you should have food, pacifier, medicine, water. They'll allow you to have water, which I didn't know about this before um, because of the formula. So if you're like a, even if you're not a formula fed baby, you can get away with water. So I just, we just learned this the other day. Um, so yeah, have your water. And those are my big travel tips. If you're going somewhere hot, of course, have sunscreen for your baby, have a hat, have sunglasses. They might not wear these things, but you know, makes room for some cute photos. All right, well, good luck with traveling with baby. And you know, if you breastfeed, um, just pop them on that boob for as long as you can until they pass out, because that's the best way to travel with baby. All right, good luck.